Hi, and welcome to Math Antics. In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to do basic multi-digit multiplication. Now this can be tricky at first, but don't get discouraged. It just might take some extra time and practice, but you'll get the hang of it. One thing I want to mention before we start is that multi-digit multiplication will be much easier for you if you memorize your basic multiplication facts. But if you don't have them memorized, then be sure to have a multiplication table handy when you're doing your practice problems. Okay, the best way to learn this is to jump right in. Let's try 137 times 5. Now as you can see, this is a 3-digit number times a 1-digit number. When you're given a problem like this, where the numbers are written side by side, you need to rewrite it in stacked form, with the ones places lined up the way we did with addition and subtraction. Now you might remember with multiplication that the order of the problem doesn't matter, so we could put whichever number we want on the top or the bottom. But it's always best to put the number with the most digits on the top and the one with the fewest digits on the bottom. There, now we draw our answer line below and we put our time symbol to the left so we don't forget that we're multiplying. Okay, now we're ready to learn the procedure for multiplying. Basically, what we're gonna do is break up this big multiplication problem into a series of small multiplication problems, or steps. Those small steps involve multiplying a digit in the bottom number by a digit in the top number. Now in our problem, we only have one digit on the bottom, and we're gonna multiply it by each of the digits in the top number. And since the top number has three digits, that means that our problem will have three small multiplication steps. For the first step, we multiply the bottom digit, 5, by the digit in the ones place of the top number, which is 7. We always start with the ones place and work our way from right to left. So 5 times 7 gives us 35. Now just like with addition, when we get a two-digit answer, we have to carry the first digit to the top of the next column because it'll be in the way of the next answer digit if we don't. So the 5 stays down here in the 1's place of the answer, but the 3 gets carried up to the top of the 10's place column. Now it's time for the second step. We multiply the bottom digit 5 by the next digit to the left in our top number, 3. So 5 times 3 equals 15. But wait a second, there's that 3 we carried up to the top from the last answer. What do we do with that? Well we need to add it to the answer that we just got. That's because that 3 was supposed to go in the tens place of the answer, but just not all by itself. We had to do the second multiplication step first and see what else needed to go in that answer spot with it. And it turned out to be a 5, the second digit of the answer 15. So we have to combine the two digits that both go in that answer place. That's why we add the digit we carried and we end up with 18. But once again, our answer is a two digit number, so we leave the 8 in our answer line and we carry the one up to the top of the hundreds place column. Now for our third and last multiplication step. We have five times one, which is just five. But again, there's that digit we carried up above so it wouldn't be in the way. What do you think we do with that digit? Yep, we add it to the answer we got from the multiplication step. So five plus one gives us six, and that's what goes in our answer line. Okay then, we've done all three of our multiplication steps, and the answer to our problem, 5 times 137, is 685. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? 